Hey guys, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be talking about Rouge Smoking from the house of BDK. It's been getting quite some talk in Fragcom lately, so I had to get a sample of it. And I've been testing it for the past little while, so... This is just basically a first impressions. I've only worn it a few times. Um, but let's get this on a test strip here. Have the dry down here. So the notes in here, there's bergamot, pink pepper, and cherry in the top. Middle notes are vanilla, heliotrope, and orange blossom. And base notes are ambroxan, cashmere, tonka, labdanum, musk, and violet. So, based on the notes, you know, the vanilla, cherry, tonka, it sounds like something that I would absolutely love. I love the note of cherry. I love vanilla. I love heliotrope. But upon first sniff of this, you guys, it's not something I fell in love with at all right away. It was like, hmm, well, that's a pleasant scent. Um, but there was something about it that was kind of um, nagging me a little bit in the back of my mind. So although I like the opening, it smells like a, uh, a cherry vanilla with some like pink, pink pepper sprinkled on top. But the thing that was bothering me was that in the opening, I do get that um, cherry cough syrup kind of thing. It does have this really nice richness and thickness about it that made me think of that. So I was trying to get that out of my mind, <laughs> trying to force it out of my mind, but that didn't work at all, you guys. I still get that idea of cherry cough syrup just in the opening. Um, as this fragrance dried down on my skin, it does start changing a lot. That cherry cough syrup thing went away, thank, good, thank goodness. And there is this kind of um, tobacco note that does um, appear. Uh, there's no tobacco notes listed in here, but I do get this um, cherry pipe tobacco scent where the tobacco or the cherry is kind of um, intensified. I also get a spice in here. I said earlier it's like pink pepper. Something spicy is sprinkled in here, kind of just giving it a little bit of a kick, um, adding to the already kind of um, earthy tobacco. It's, it's kind of a cross between like pink pepper or cinnamon or something like that, which makes this fragrance a gourmand fragrance for sure. That spice in there, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it kind of reminds me, the spice in here kind of reminds me a little bit of Armani Rouge Malachite, whereas in the Rouge Malachite, it's too strong for me and then it, all, it kind of makes me sneeze because of how spicy it is. But in this one, it's not like overly spicy. It's blended in very nicely with this um, cherry, tobacco, vanilla kind of scent. In the way dry down of this fragrance, I find this fragrance to get more powdery. So it almost feels like a warm cherry, vanilla, tobacco blanket that I'm wearing. That spice is still there, like pink pepper or cinnamon. There's also a sweetness in here that gets stronger in the dry down probably from vanilla but it's a nice fragrance I do I do enjoy this fragrance it's just that it's just that first like you know that first blast the opening where I get the cherry um, the medicinal cherry cough syrup thing but mm, do I, I don't know <laughs> I wouldn't say it's, I wouldn't say it ruins the fragrance because I know that I think that this is a very likable fragrance if you're looking for a nice sweet cherry tobacco with some spice 
powderiness, sweetness, fruitiness, gourmand. But maybe it's just me. I'm thinking a little, it reminds me of cherry cough syrup in the beginning, which is an unfortunate, but because of that reason, you know, I probably wouldn't buy this myself. But I do think it smells nice. I'm just being very, very critical here. Uh, but yeah, I think it smells nice. Is it worth the hype though? Hmm. Maybe. I do think that, I do think that this, a lot of people would like this, as I said earlier. There's something mass appealing about it. But it doesn't really smell like anything I've ever smelled before. There's other cherry tobacco scents out there, but I haven't smelled anything like this. And that nice little touch of spice in here does um, enhance it. But I don't know, maybe it's just not for me, you guys. Pleasant, but not. I'm not in love with it, but I do like it. So those were my first impressions of Rouge Smoking by the House of BDK. I do want to explore this house more because yeah, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Not a love, but it's a like for me. If you guys have tried this, please let me know in the comments what you think of it. I would love to hear that. Do you think it's worth the hype or not? And yeah, that's it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.